Hello and welcome to Environmental Express Tech Tips. My name is Joe and today we'll be reviewing the soil cell system for the extraction of semi-volatile compounds in soils and other solid matrices. This extraction technique follows EPA SW846 method 3546 and utilizes the 100 mil hot blocks and the stainless steel soil extraction cells. Method 3546 has several advantages over more traditional extraction techniques such as Soxlet and sonication. It requires far less solvent, reduces the overall amount of extraction time, and allows one to extract up to 35 samples at once. The first step is to weigh 10 to 30 grams of sample into the soil extraction cell. Next, add 30 mils of the appropriate solvent. Add any surrogates or standards that are required by the determinative method. Place the stainless steel inner lid on top of the soil cell. The O-ring provides the tight seal with the soil cell itself, and the rupture seal provides a safety mechanism in case there's an unforeseen pressure increase due to an unknown in a sample. Hand tighten the threaded outer cap onto the cell. Ensure that it's nice and tight to provide a nice seal. Place the cell into the hot block. The hot block should be set at 130 degrees Celsius. This will provide an internal solvent temperature of 100 to 115 degrees Celsius, which is required by method 3546. Samples should be heated for 30 minutes at the 130 degrees Celsius set point. After that heat time is finished, remove the soil cells from the block and allow to cool to room temperature. The cells will be hot, so heat resistant gloves should be used. Once the cell is cool, unscrew the outer threaded cap and remove the stainless steel inner lid. Rinse the inner lid with the appropriate solvent, taking care to collect the solvent within the cell. The sample is now ready for filtration, concentration, cleanup, and analysis. Thank you for taking the time to watch Environmental Express's tech tips on the soil cell system. We appreciate the opportunity to earn your business.